Hi, this is Matt May with CoolMarketingSoftware.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make money with YouTube without showing your face. If you're shy and you don't want to show your face or if you just don't want to shave, whatever, I'm going to show you how you can make upwards of $20,000 per month on YouTube and that's with the YouTube ad revenue and then I'm going to show you ways you can make money in addition to the YouTube ad revenue. And all I'm going to ask you to do is to watch this video to the end and follow the step-by-step -step instructions that I'm going to give you. And then I'd appreciate it if you give us a nice like and if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so let's get started. We got a site here called Touropia, and this is a website which is like a travel website. I'm going to show you a couple sample videos in a second, but let's take a look at how much money they're making. So this is what they're making from YouTube ad revenue, anywhere from $1,000, $16,000 per month, 12 K to uh, almost $200,000 a year. So let's take a look at their videos, All right? So here's their, their, here are their videos. And you can say they get a ridiculous amount of views. Their, their travel videos, like 25 best places to visit in Europe, uh, their listicle travel videos listicles are where you say 10 best things or nine best things or seven best things what well, listicle videos people love listicle videos um they're proven to work but look at the views they're getting 9 million 16 million 7 million like crazy number of views and the, the good news is these videos are super easy to make and i'm going to show you how to make them step by step and you really uh it's just really very, very easy. And there's nothing stopping you from making a similar type channel and starting to make money as well on YouTube. You just have to wait till we get to the end of the video. I'm going to show you here in a second. So let's take a look quickly at this videos. All right. I'm going to show you the Italian one. You know, here it is. It's a little video. They've got stock footage. This is stock footage that anyone can get that they're using. And it's perfectly... Um, within Google's terms of service to use this type of stock footage, right? They have a little voiceover and okay. And they're just saying little things about each things uh, in Italy, 10 best places to visit in Italy, right? And then just go back down through the countdown and that's Sicily. And oh, here's number seven. They got number seven, Cinque Terra and on and on and on. So I'm going to show you how you make these videos. So where do you get the, uh, the videos to do, you know, do you, do you have to go to Italy? No, you don't. You have to go to pexels.com. So here I am on pexels.com and this is a website where you can get videos that you can use in your YouTube videos that are royalty free. That means people will just let you use them. Sometimes they ask for a, a tribute, a, you know, a link back or credit in the description. That's no big deal. You can just include that in the description of the video. So say if I want to show, do like the five best places in um, Italy to visit. Okay. So I'll start with one place. Let's look at Rome. I'll just type Rome in here. And then I get all these videos on Roma. All right. Look at this. So we've got this. And here's a really nice video from Rome. I can just click here, free download and download it. And there's another site like this. Well, before we go there, let's look at the video here a little bit. Isn't that great? It's like gorgeous, huh? All right. So you can just download this video and use this video in your video. <laughs> Here's another place just like Pexels called Pixabay. You can come in here. I want to type Rome, right? Look, at, I get all these. I can do images or I can get videos. Now, some of them you have to pay for it. Some are free. Here are the videos. I just click here. And I went and I found the videos so I could come here and below here are ones that are free for download. They even have some interesting cartoons here. So here's one on architecture I can come in here, free download. Okay. And I can download this video, beautiful video, Rome, Italy. So how do we go ahead and uh, make a, a travel video, like five best places to visit in Italy? All right, well, the first thing we have to do is pick the cities. Okay, so here I am on the 10 best uh, places to visit in Italy video. I'm gonna do a five best places. So I'm gonna do the last one. So we got Rome, Tuscany, Venice, Pompeii, and Amalfi Coast, okay? 
It's a Malfi. That's what that is, Malfi Coast. So all I have to do is download some free videos of each of these cities. Okay. So I'm going to show you a sample. I've already done this and I'm going to show you exactly how I would do it. So here I am at, uh, in Pexels. I put a Malfi or a Malfi Coast, right? I come down here and I got some killer videos. Let's take a look. I can just download this. I'm going to download this. Click here and download. It's going to go to my hard drive, right? And then I'm going to have this on my hard drive. Now, what I did is I made a folder here on my hard drive called Italy. And then I made folders for each, each city. And so I, just like I showed you there, I downloaded two videos about Amalfi. Okay. And I saved them there. And then I did for the next one, Pompeii, Rome, Tuscany, and Venice, all the five places that I want to feature. So I showed you the process for downloading the videos. Okay. That's right here, Pixabay. I just did it right here. You say, if I, I want Rome, I go Rome, videos, and I've got these incredible videos on Rome. Tons of them. Look at this. I can just click here and download. I should use this one. I think that was even better. But in any case, that's how you get the videos. So here I've got all my folders with my videos. Okay. And what I did also, I just downloaded a couple videos that were generic Italian videos that I'm going to use in an intro. So here, what I'm going to do now is some video editing software. And this is the one I'm using. It's called Wondershare Filmora. I found it's very easy to use. You can do a free download here and you can check out the pricing if you want the pro version. They got another plan for 49 and one for 79 like for, that's for an entire year. That's cheap folks for software like this. I mean, Camtasia is like $300 and this work does everything Camtasia does maybe even more. So, and there's no, I don't have an affiliate link for this. Okay. It's just the one I'm using that I found easiest to use. So I'm going to open up Wondershare and, and show you how to use this. I've opened it up here and I'm going to cre create new project. Okay. So and now what I'm going to do is add all my uh, media, right? I'm going to add everything. So here we go. I'm just going to come in add this open add this here i got my whole folder here open notice i named them according to the city so i'll be able to see them in the software right so here i have everything uh everything there okay everything's uploaded now i just have to put them on like this timeline so i'm going to do a countdown from number five down to number one and I'm going to start with Amalfi Coast. So I'm going to take Amalfi and put them down here. Okay, put it down here. Actually, I forgot I want to do a little intro. So I'm going to move my generic Italian right here. Generic Italian is just, you know, Italy, Italy. Um, and... Um, and you can kind of make it smaller and bigger. I'm not even an expert with this, folks. You know, but you can make it smaller and bigger here like this. So now I'm just going to take everything else and put it in the timeline. So say after um, Amalfi, let's do uh, Pompeii. I'll put Pompeii here. You adjust the view with this. You can make this bigger and smaller on the timeline. So Pompeii, did one Pompeii. Let's do another Pompeii right here. Okay. And I'm going to do all of them all the way down. Now I'm going to need some titles. So I come up here, I click titles and I'm going to drag this down here up to the timeline above. And then I'll click, double click on it and I'll type in here five best places to visit in Italy. Okay. And you could mess around with this and change it. And well, I'm just doing this very simply right now. Click OK. And you can use a variety of different, um, of different ones here, different titles. Fool around with that. So now I've got my title right here. And let's make this go a little bit longer. So this goes for the generic Italy thing. So, you know, we can just click here, see what it looks like. Then five best places 
Well, I could probably make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Visit in Italy. Okay. There we go. That fits in better. And so we've got our intro. And I'm doing this quickly, but you can, you know, get as creative as you want with this. You're seeing I'm dragging and dropping uh, the title here. So I've got my title here. So now let's just set it back over here where we're working on. And now I need uh, the title here for Amalfi. So let's just do th this title. Okay. Click right here. So to edit the titles, you click down here once you, you just decide on the title you want. All right. So here I put a title. Amal number five, Amalfi Coast right here. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other ones. So I'm going to come up here to titles. All right. I'll drag the title down. This next one is going to be number four, Pompeii. I'm going to click here. I'm going to put number four, Pompeii. There we go. That's number four. I'm going to extend it a little bit. All right. I can, so I can see it better here. I move that. And I extend it a little bit. There we go. Okay. Then next I'm going to do Tuscany and uh, Venice and then Rome. So now I've taken my titles. I've put them up, to, uh, up on top here above all the videos. And so you will see that, you know, it comes here. And it'll play and show the videos along with my titles is moving and it plays right along with the titles but if you notice the transition was kind of quick so so we can put transitions in so for transitions we come up here we click transition and I just choose dissolve so we come in here and so now we have a transition okay so watch over here you're gonna see a transition and made a nice transition so we'll put these all over okay I'm not gonna do it right now but now you see how I do it yeah I just go dissolve here Okay, dissolve here. And I'm getting transitions in all these places. So the next thing I need is music, right? I need some music going on back here. So what I can use is YouTube Music Library. So you have to be um, logged into your YouTube account, but you can use these royalty free and, and for monetized content. Content. So I found, you know, I can look for Italy music, and I found this really nice uh, Italian music. So you can use the audio track in any of your videos, including videos that you monetize. No attribution is required. Wow, that's, you don't even have to give any attribution. Um, you can give a credit to the artist if you want, which I think is a good idea. But then we, we're going to come here and um, we could download it or we could play it here. And I already downloaded it. So it's saying unavailable now, but I already downloaded it and, and got it. So I'm not sure why it's saying that here. But anyways, I have that already downloaded. Actually, I had uploaded this to the media. Okay, so I just come to my media here and there's Seaside Piazza. And I put this down here and I can make it kind of go along with everything here. All right, and I could, I could bring it down a second time if I want. And I can cut and edit. I'm not going to go into a full thing on this. You know, I can make this shorter and longer. And you can learn the software to do that. But I'm giving you kind of the basic rundown. I don't want to make the video like crazy, crazy long. Um, so now we have the music. We can go back all the way to the beginning here. And here we go. We have, uh, have the music, the nice Italian music going on here. Okay. So that's going to come along. And that was free to use everything. We've got the video. We've got the title. We've got this. We've got the transitions. So now the only thing is what well, you need to have some content. You need to have a voiceover because if you don't have the voiceover, uh, it's not that professional and it really doesn't. But, that, but that's really easy to do. All you have to do is come here and click here and you have to um, record your voiceover. But what do you say? What you do is all you do is you go to good old fashioned Google. And you come up here and say if you want to learn something about Amalfi Coast. You just type in interesting facts about Amalfi Coast. <laughs> okay, what is unique about the Amalfi Coast? Amalfi Coast is known for its production, production of limoncello liqueur. And there's a million other things. 
Again, this is just an example. So I can come in here and I can say, first of all, at the beginning, I can record it and say, um, here, I'll do a, see, I click here and I'm going to record it at the same time. Sit back and relax because in this video, we're going to show you the five best places to visit in Italy. All right, so I just recorded that. I'm going to click OK and I can click down here. Here we go. Okay, so there we go. Now this is going to go and uh, come up to Amalfi Coast. Uh, and we're going to hit Amalfi Coast. Okay, so here I'm going to record um, the part about the Amalfi Coast. I come here. All right, this mutes the project. Number five on our list is Amalfi Coast. Did you know that the Amalfi Coast is known for its limoncello liqueur? So you see, I didn't time it exactly right, but that's okay. I did another one where I did time it right. So um, that's it. And you can, I'm just showing you the basics here. And you can go and spend some time and, you know, get it all perfect with everything. But now, you know, I've got this thing about the Amalfi Coast. You know, I recorded that. All right. So it's one too, a little too close into uh, number four, Pompeii, but it's no big deal. You can adjust this. And I did another one where I did it. Um, I'm showing you the, like I said, showing you the basics here. So you go and you record, you go look up interesting facts about whatever. You can maybe make a little, I did a, like a little piece of paper on notepad. I had it in front of me and I read it and you can come up with a little text. It's all on Google. Everything's there. That's like way more than you need. You can type in anything about these places, entering interesting facts, what you should know about um, these individual places. You'll become an expert in, in all these places. All right. So, so you've got all these elements. You've got the voiceover, you've got the music, and you've got the videos. I showed you how to get them all. I've showed you the software to use, you know, and then when you're done, you click export and you, you put that up on your YouTube channel. And when you have a YouTube channel, you name it something. They had Tour Opia, you know. You could find some sort of name that revolved around travel. You come up with something creative, do some brainstorming on that. All right, here's kind of a version I did where I spent a little more time on it. I was doing the other kind of in real time. So, you know, I've got five blessed place uh, places to stay in Italy, and I come through the whole thing. I did it with a Godfather accent, which I was fooling around. I sound like... Uh, Marlon Brando, but I was having fun with it. Um, <laughs> so, but here, take a look at this. At the end, it is a must see and is most certainly on the bucket list of many, many travelers. The number one spot, Rome, Italy. Go check it out. Hey, and if you want to make enough money to be able to travel online in Italy first class, click the link in the description below. I'm going to show you how to do it. Hey, and it's legal. You don't have to do anything crazy, okay? Just, just, uh, just check it out. Hit the link below. I want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Okay, I was having fun fooling around, but what, what was that? That was a call to action within the video saying, click my link below. Now, hey, what if you have a business opportunity? That means kind of an interesting angle. You could say, click the link below to learn how to earn enough money to get buy a first class ticket to Italy because they're dreaming about it. Literally, you're selling dreams when you're selling a business opportunity anyway. You know, it's actually a pretty good match. So you could also find affiliate programs that were travel related. All right. But most people are dreaming and maybe they need to make a, a way to make some money to pay for this trip they're dreaming about. You know, hey, so what if you had a, a, a channel with gazillions of people watching travel videos and enjoying, and then you put in your little publicity, your little ad saying, hey, your call to action, you know, watch, click below to learn how to make money enough to buy a first class ticket, okay? And then at the end, of course, I'm asking him to watch and uh, subscribe, Please tell your friends about this. okay? Please like us, if you like us, if you, you know, like um, us, well, what can I do? I'm doing my whole Godfather thing and having fun. But, you know, you could have your own style and do it your own way. But the, the principle is to have a call to action 
in this nice travel video to whatever is you're selling. That way you don't have to rely just on YouTube ad revenue, you know, so that that's really an important point. You can sell affiliate programs and you put the link at the top of your uh, description and also pin it in a comment to the top of the video. So imagine you had a channel, you know, you're not going to have this many subscribers at once, but you got to start somewhere um, with all these uh, really popular videos. You can sort by most popular to see what's really popular. Europe seems to be popular. Uh, 9.4 million views. And like over here, you had a pinned comment saying, hey, if you, do you want to learn how to make enough money to buy a first class ticket? Click here. I'll show you how. Or if you could have a, a look on um, like ClickBank and other affiliate networks for affiliate programs that are really good for travel. So those are two things that you can do to make money. So you can make money once you get qualified as a YouTube partner. And then in the description, right at the top, you see, you put it at the top. Okay. Or they're promoting their website. That's fine. Um, but right at the top, you put the description that way they can click on it right here. You see it. Uh, they have to click to see view all uh, that more. And there's a lot more you can do. You have to look at the SEO. You have to look at the titles, make sure that they're uh, good titles that people are looking for. Look what other people are doing in the niche, but I don't want to go crazy with this because we can just go on and on. I've shown you the basics. You can make these travel videos. You use the wonder share. Um, I showed you in real time, you know, how you get the videos and the music for, uh, royalty free, totally legally, totally, um, in, in line with YouTube terms of service and how you could create a whole a channel. This gives you an, an idea up to you to run with it and uh, see what you can make of it. So another thing I wanted to mention is there's the guy, Thomas uh, Goretz. Check out his YouTube channel and he has a course on how to make uh, YouTube without showing your face. And I'm going to put a link in the description below to his course because uh, you can go look at his videos. He's got 292,000 subscribers. Uh, he knows what he's doing when it comes to, you know, marketing on YouTube. That's an incredible, uh, you know, accomplishment. And he's got a course to show you how to do it. And that's where I got the idea for doing this video. Or I just kind of put my own twist on it because I didn't like some of the software uses I got. But that's how you do it. You know, you learn from other people and then you put your own twist on. You know, I actually went and made these videos to see how, you know, how, how it would work because I didn't just tell you to do it and not do it myself. I did it myself. I haven't developed a whole channel like this, but I showed you how to do it, um, which I thought was actually an even better way. But he's got a great course on how to make uh, videos with, uh, without showing your face and how to make money with great ideas. He knows what he's doing, 292,000 subscribers. Click the link below for the course as well. So thank you so much. I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, to give this a like if you like it, to share it. You could embed it on your blog if you want and spread the good word on how to make money online with YouTube without showing your face. Thank you so much. It's Matthew May, coolmarketingsoftware.com.